What's up, YouTube? I've got a little surprise today. Not only are me and Marcus are gonna go catch some big fish today, right? That's right. That's right. We're gonna be talking about Amped Outdoors. Today is the maiden voyage for this 48 hour lithium battery. And uh, I can't wait to put it in the boat. I'm gonna show you exactly what I got going on in the boat. We're gonna show you the volts through the entire fishing experience today. And uh, we're getting used to it. We don't know everything about it, but we're excited because we're tired of those battery problems. That's right. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Branson, right? So yeah. every every day, but the final day, we experienced a battery issue. And so we, we, we started seeing it and hearing about it on the YouTube and all that stuff. And so we finally got a lithium battery on board. Come with us, we're gonna share the experience. Folks, thanks for joining me today. We've got a lot of things we're gonna do. First off, foremost, we're gonna go through this amped outdoors setup that I have on my boat. Gotta get ready for this challenge. And of course, Marcus is getting ready here because we're gonna do a challenge, a big fish challenge during this episode. Get excited about that. We're also gonna be showing you live uh, active captain. So let's get to it. So the nice people at Amped Outdoors sent me this battery to check it out. It's a 48 hour amp hour battery. It's really small and compact. And what I did was I put a, basically an ATV battery box here, and that's gonna actually house the battery very easily. So it fits right in there like that. I've got some dual connectors, fits on there like so. This way here. There we go. So we're hooked up and then simply put, our box goes right on top of it. Easy peasy. So basically what I have is, I have a lithium power going to the Garmin live scope and the Helix up front. So that's all that it's powering. Priority number one, that is what's gonna power everything up in the front. If I need to use the alternative power, which is the two group 31 batteries that I'll have over here, I can actually just throw a switch and it actually can switch from the lithium to the original two batteries that was powering the Garmin originally. All right, so we just powered it up. We're gonna see what kind of voltage it says. Now I expect to see 16.8, 16.9. From what I understand, that's the max that it'll give out. And then supposedly it should be able to run for three days straight, eight hours a day. That's what I'm being told. Tell me, comment below. I wanna, I wanna hear what your opinions on that are. Not that I would ever bring it to that point, so there it is, 16.8, look at that. What were you running before? So before, I'd be roughly around 12.3 or four, and it would probably after about a seven hour guide trip, it'd be down at 11.8, 11.7. And, uh, and that's if the batteries were all charged properly and all that stuff. Is the picture any better or is it just a... Well, we're gonna find power. out. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna find out, but it should be as crisp as it could possibly be. All right, just getting out to our first spot. And um, we noticed right away that the went from six, eight, six, nine, whatever it was, to 16.3. So an initial big drop really quick. And then we're hoping that it just kind of levels out. But I'm gonna give you some active captain today. So don't worry, you're gonna see us catching some of these schools. Uh, but the importance is I wanna follow kind of the amps and the volts or the volts and how they're looking on the screen for you. So we're at 16.2, but we've only been out here 10 minutes. All right, so don't forget, we're also doing a big fish challenge this evening. We're only gonna be on the water a couple hours, but for me and Marcus, that's good enough time. We're gonna have a good, fun challenge here and see who can come out on top. Big fish in terms of length. That is how we're gonna judge this. Well, it was kind of a funky double. I got a dink and he got a bass, but it was still fun. So, so far, I'm winning the big fish challenge, though, with this guy. We counting that one? No. What? Measure it up. <laughs> He's got a measure up. <laughs> All right, yeah. only crappie count. Well, 
I take the early lead, I'll tell you what that is. So at Branson, we had a lot of issues. This is a good fish. This is all right, 12 and a half. I'll measure it right now. So at Branson, you saw probably the live feed. We did a kind of a live deal talking about the problems we had with batteries, but it's frustrating. And, and being a tournament angler, I mean, the last thing you want to do is have problems. So these lithium, you know, options are fantastic. And we're going to try to prove that over the next couple of weeks to see exactly what this battery can do. But I can tell you one thing, it's extremely light, extremely small. It can fit, like I said, in one of those little uh, small battery boxes. And um, if something were to happen to that, my other option is just throw the switch and I can go back to, to the uh, two original batteries that was powering it anyway. And I was having a lot of success with that as of late. So it would last, you know, a day and a half before I would run into real big problems. But I have options and as a tournament guy, you wanna have options. Marcus knows that pain that we had. And um, so hopefully we're good. So let's put some active captain on. We'll get some footage here for you. So we're just, we're casting to these schools and they're pretty nice, they're nice size. We've got a 50 degree weather day, which is unheard of this time of year, to be honest with you. It's calm. It's not bluebird, but it's almost there. Um, now we, I think the temperature does dip down into the, like the 30s or low, low 30s tomorrow, I think it is. So this is kind of the last of it, but. Water temperature is roughly around uh, 42. So, yeah. So what you're looking at, There's your school right there. And we're casting out to them. Now we're a little close to them right now, but, uh, and they're moving away from us. So you can see Marcus is dropping in on them. And a lot of times we'll stay right there on that top level and see if you get any takers, basically. If you go into the group, you're gonna spook them. Cause your line's gonna hit them. You know, during my guide trips, I always tell the people that this is a game of a lot of casts. So if you have a pile that's not biting, you're going to constantly cast back and forth at the same pile. You might have a taker like you just saw there, but at the end of the day, you're going to continue to cast until you get it, you get one that just gets fed up with it. So we'll cast at something like this maybe 20 times and we'll give up on it. What we like about this particular pile is that they're nice and tight and usually they're an eating bunch when they are like this but sometimes they're not and that's what you get with schools Som sometimes they're biting sometimes they're not so if you guys haven't uh, been to that facebook group uh live scope everything you need to know check it out we're up to about 3800 members very quickly 3500 something in that neighborhood um it's really great good content i'm making sure that the content that's put there is really relevant which is pretty pretty neat and i think people are enjoying it a lot of conversations going on there all right marcus asked the question whether or not the picture was crisper was it cleaner with that many volts going to the head unit and i would say it's as good as i have ever seen it is it crisper I don't, i'm not quite sure but i can tell you it's definitely probably the best that i have seen it now don't forget, we are also in a big fish challenge tonight. This is my big fish for the challenge. You're gonna have to wait till the end to see Marcus's, but this is my big fish. I saw him, I saw him in the pile and I said, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fishing with that canine braid and I have to admit, I really do like it. Um, casting wise, I haven't done a vertical jig wise, but casting wise, it's been incredible. That's a big fish so far. I'll put a measurement on that real quick for you. So that's a that's a 13 and a half -er. That's a good fish. I'm gonna change your view because I want you to I want you to hear the braid as it's being reeled in. It's just got an awesome sound. It's so smooth. So let me move you over here. Ain't no 13 and a half -er, though. <laughs> you never know what kind of number I'm gonna get when I measure this map. 
<laughs> Listen to this. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's a good fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fish. That is a freaking heavy fish. That is a fatty. Look how fat that is. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a blown up little football. That's good stuff. Gotta love it. Check out this, man. This is awesome footage. That is. And as you can and as you can see we are at 16 volts right now i have a feeling it's gonna that's gonna kind of where it sits for a long time uh, we'll see though Little guy. Little guy. Yeah. So what I did do with this braid is so I did tie on a leader. So this is a oh you're all up here. So let me show you. I did a I did a uni knot and I tied floral carbon. So floral carbon onto the braid. So it goes from that canine braid straight into that fluorocarbon with a number seven split shot and man it is smooth now i'm not going to say it doesn't get tangled up on the tip sometimes but very very rare this is one of those rare times but there it is boom fixed good to go um three pound fishing elite series rods for those who are asking a lot of people are asking uh we were taken back by how many how quick they went so we're we've ran out they're gonna be back in the stores in March, I'm being told. So March, early March, they actually were saying February, so I'm saying March, of course. And uh, we're excited, man, because I think we're about to add some more sizes too. I know we are. And uh, three pound fishing elite series, you can get those again at ozarkrod.com. I'm fishing with the 10. I think Marcus was actually fishing with the 10 too. And uh, they're just great rods, light. I can't say it enough, man. The people that have had them and have provided feedback been awesome i have not heard a bad word on how they feel it's just they're light you can do it all there i go that's i'm done with it okay. ah. you might have a contender here well, even if you don't have one now i fully expect you to i'm not gonna get her done but it's a fatty Our volts are at 15.8, 15.7, 15.8. So is that normal? I don't have no idea, folks. But I'd like to see it stay up there longer, but I, I don't know what to expect. So that's part of it. It felt good. It felt good. So guide trips are going great. Check them out. If you're interested, 3poundfishing at gmail.com. All day long, baby. Now, when we search, we search in roughly around 50 to 70. Just trying to get an idea if there's a fish out there or a school of fish. When we fish the schools, we prefer it to be around 45, 30. 
Sometimes we, we don't have time to do that. We just leave it on whatever we're searching in. the winner folks sorry man <laughs> <laughs> he I hate Mark <laughs> that is a hog <laughs> <laughs> that concludes today's episode folks <laughs> Woo! It out. I want to see it you got to put the, the, the close the mouth I had three and a half 13 and a half Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Here. Is that, is that 13 and a half? Or 13. 13? That's 13 and a quarter, is what it is, but uh, not 13 and a half. All right. We'll call it a draw. We had two 13 and a half. That's a pig. Let me look. look hold on. Show that fish off, man. That is. <laughs> what a beaut. <laughs> Tie, right? Tie. Two 13 and a half. He always catches it at the 11th hour. That's right. Always. Except on tourney day. Except for on <laughs> tournament day. Two so three. that guy was in the middle of the pile. Yeah. I was low, of course. On the bottom. And he came from the pile and went down and tore it up. Okay. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Good fish. We're running at 15.7 uh, right now, and uh, hey man, caught some great fish. We're gonna put that to the uh, the test all weekend, and I'm gonna report to you exactly how long and how much time that gives us. So thanks for joining, we appreciate it. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.